Hello everyone, welcome to a new reading. Today I am doing a girlfriend reading for Jay. So I haven't done a Stacey one in quite a while and I think now it's time to come back to one of them. And in this case, we're going to try to figure out what type of girlfriend Jay will be like. So let's get into the reading. So to start off her reading, we have the Buffalo card. For whatever reason, when this card came out, I have like a very vivid image of the first people that have gotten this card when I started doing like this girlfriend boyfriend readings. And I believe it was Sulhi and DK who got these cards. And they both gave me very similar feelings. So I'm going to bring those interpretations back on this one. So with the Buffalo card, we have that the general energy for what type of girlfriend Jay will be like is an individual who is very stable, someone that is slow and steady, someone that's super loyal, someone that's super grounded, not only with their beliefs, but also in their life. So they have a very stable financial uh, standing, I, I guess that's the word I'm looking for. Also, someone that has a very stable career, someone that has very good finances, a very good idea of what they want to do in their life as well. So they have plans for the long run. Also, we have, again, <laughs> the earth element. That's where all the stability, grounding, and earth is coming from. One thing that's coming out differently for Jay, though, is that she will be the type of girlfriend that is a bit more traditional or someone that really values her family traditions. We have this lightning and purple light behind this buffalo. So this strikes me as an individual that is very connected to their third eye. So someone that's very intuitive. And this will also describe someone that has very good clarity of who they are, what they want in life, who they want in their life, and also how they want to go about making their dreams come true. With this lightning in the background, there is a sense that she is someone that gets ideas very quickly. She's very spontaneous and she is also someone that has sparks constantly going on in her life. Meaning that she is constantly inspired, motivated. There, It takes very little to fuel her uh, passion. It takes very little to just get her going in whatever goals she has in mind. So she's definitely someone that sees potential in a lot of things in her life and doesn't give up easily at all. So that's kind of like the general energy for Jay, which I find very funny because the messages just continue coming through very quickly with this buffalo. So I wonder how much of a breeze this reading is going to be like. The next card that we have right here is North with the keyword expansion with a number one. So Jay will be a type of girlfriend that really believes in first impressions. So I do feel that she will want someone that... Can, that has definitely left a long lasting first impression someone that left a good a good someone that had a good vibe the first time they the first time she met them there is also a sense with this expansion that jay takes in consideration how the foundation of a relationship has happened she is someone that is probably very straightforward and to the point because she does have the queen of swords clarifying this oracle card with this expansion there's this sense of new beginnings so Jay is someone that is very optimistic about the unknown, very optimistic about new beginnings and new chapters in her life. This Aurora kind of tells me that she believes in fate. She believes in destiny. She believes that at the right time, she will find the right person for herself. And that she doesn't mind being on her own until that happens. So she is in no rush to be with someone. And she's not really interested in dating until she finds that one person that she feels is worth it in her life. So definitely someone that she can grow with, someone that will help her improve her life, someone that will encourage her to become the best version of herself in it, its change. She will encourage that person to become the best version of themselves as well. The next card that we have right here is Ice with the keyword purity with a number 33. So this tells me that she is someone that really values genuine people she wants someone that has a pure heart she wants someone that will be honest with her someone that's genuine someone that's very sincere she wants someone that will also respect her space she may be an individual that likes 
not only her individual self like just doing her own thing going at her own pace but i do feel that she likes her silence and her space so there might be times where she would like to just do things on her own or maybe just kind of stay in her room and be on be away from people so i, I do feel that she wants a partner that will understand that sometimes she needs time for herself and to just be away from people being away from emotional instability or being away from people that are stressed or people that are overworked or people that are constantly thinking of things that have to be done and are constantly in the go 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 mentality so yeah she definitely wants to she definitely wants someone that will understand that sometimes she needs time for herself to kind of recharge and heal and kind of like purify herself from the surrounding environment the other card that we have right here is the biome with the keyword connection with the number 44 which is the last card in this deck this kind of shows that she's the type of girlfriend that would like to travel around with her partner she would like to go to many different places she is open to going to adventures going to vacation going to trips she might actually encourage that or really value that time that she can spend with her partner outside of the country or outside of her home space or outside of her community like she really values how much she can learn from other cultures how much she can learn from just going to different places that she's not familiar with and doing things that are not normal for her so she really ad admires going to trips and adventures to places that she's never gone before or that she may not even know about so learning new things is something that brings her a lot of stability and this open mind and this view of new possibilities as well she is someone that really likes and values learning about new things because she sees that as a chance to improve as a person and grow as an individual now the card that was clarifying the north card is the queen of swords so she's not afraid of confrontations she's not afraid of starting conversations with pure honesty she cuts the chase she is not someone that beats around the bush she is definitely someone that is very straightforward and can be a bit blunt with this queen of wands we have the energy of an individual that values communication someone that has a very clear idea of what they want to say and what they believe in and what they think this is someone that is very blunt and straightforward, basically, right? Someone that just says things how they see it. So with this Queen of Swords, she's definitely someone that if she sees a problem, the moment she sees it, the moment she spots like a red flag or something, she cuts it off with whoever she's with. Or she says, this is an issue that we have to solve now. So communication is very important for her and she's not afraid of confrontation. So she's going to say what she believes about whoever she's with or the situation from the start also the queen of swords is aquarius energy and i'm mentioning that because the next card that we have right here is the star which is also aquarius energy so we have the star the queen of cups reverse and the hierophant so we have a lot of fixed energy because aquarius is a fifth sign and the hierophant represents taurus energy that is also a fifth sign meaning that whatever ideas beliefs or ways of being jay has she sticks to that she is someone that is extremely extremely stable which can seem very appealing however she can seem a bit stubborn when it comes to change she is someone that doesn't really welcome unexpected changes yes she is someone that ventures out into the unknown and likes to jump into these new ways of thinking these new activities these new adventures like she's okay with that but that's because she made the choice to jump into that unknown but if she's ever forced to change her way of being or changing her environment because of a sudden shift in her life she is not happy about it she will resist a lot so yes she has a lot of stability she's very grounded and rooted not only with her beliefs but in her lifestyle and her way of going about it so there is a chance that she will want a partner that is also very stable and grounded open-minded enough to try new things but also not someone that is fleety or aloof she wants someone a bit more down to earth but yeah with the star we have that she is a dreamer she's someone that believes in destiny she is someone that believes on the higher like i guess a higher purpose or a, like a life mission of sorts with the star card there is a sense of she wants a partner that is optimistic 
someone that can make their dreams come true and someone that has a mentality of there's always a solution to any problem that comes up because she wants someone that has that flexibility of adjusting to conflict adjusting to solving issues and problems and trying to create a harmonious environment now the next card that we have here is the queen of cups reverse so she is someone that has a very active internal monologue for some reason that's how this queen of cups is coming up she is someone that internalizes a lot of information meaning that she will probably blame herself first if there's ever a problem she will always look at herself first and see what did i do wrong before she starts pointing fingers and blaming others for conflicts and issues that come up and if she has that mentality that could explain why she really likes to have time for herself because that time that she has for herself she's kind of slowly processing what did she do wrong and what can she do to fix it and also to understand what other people did wrong and how can she go about it to solve the issue and not make a problem a lot bigger than it has to be again she is someone that likes to cut a problem from the core so she doesn't allow things to linger and grow and kind of have this noble effect of a bigger issue right she likes to get rid of a problem the moment that she sees it and she tries to cut it from the root so it, she makes sure that she actually gets to, to the heart of it so yeah with this queen of cups reverse it kind of shows that she is someone that doesn't deal too well with overwhelming emotions and because of that she prefers to kind of isolate herself a bit more and she's also someone that needs a lot of again she needs a very stable environment when it comes to emotions as well because again she will kind of observe that like crazy like a little sponge the last card that we have right here is a hierophant right meaning that she is someone that wants a committed partner a loyal partner someone that can offer her com commitment someone that can offer her the stability that she desires in a relationship someone that can definitely be her match in that sense someone that can go with what it is that she believes is the right thing to do what she believes is the right path a right lifestyle she wants someone that can definitely match her in that sense and also with the hero plant i feel that she wants someone that she can learn a lot from someone that maybe doesn't have a lot of experiences but definitely has like a philosophical way of viewing the world like she really wants someone that can bring the deeper meaning of situations of people of outcomes she really wants to hear what this person has to say she wants to be with someone that has thoughtful and deep ideas and understanding and i guess view of the world now, the last, last card that we have for this reading is the Three of Pentacles. She wants a team player. She wants someone that she can work with. She wants someone that she can see herself being a partner with. She wants someone that can help her with her career in the sense of supporting her with her projects, with her goals. It could be someone that can like directly give her a hand and uh, be with their expertise as much as she wants someone i again i'm getting kind of like knowledge i guess it's because we just read about the hero font she wants someone that can give her information and give her the support that she needs sometimes just having like a stable partner is all that she will need to be able to continue with her work because then she has nothing to worry about no one to like babysit or whatever right but the three of pentacles kind of shows that she wants someone that she can work with someone that she sees herself involving in her projects maybe even in her career but definitely someone that has her back but anyway i hope you guys like this reading i hope you guys enjoyed it her reading was more about who she is as a person and who she wants in a relationship rather than i guess how the relationship will actually be like the most we got was travel but aside from that, I hope you guys liked this reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one, whatever that is, however that is. And love and healing from my part to you. I am so tired and sleepy, so I'm going to go to bed. And I hope you guys have a good morning, afternoon, evening, or night.